insertion sort. Okay, let's write a little implementation of the insertion sort algorithm. So here's the problem. You have an array of integers, right? Like this one, and it has a bunch of integers. And you want the integers sorted from smaller to bigger, right? So you want to change this array A uh, such that uh, the first number, the smallest number will be first, then the next highest, and so forth. So how do you do that? Well, you need an algorithm, right? So let's try to think, try to come up with one. What works the best is if you first try to figure out, okay, how would I do this? by myself. So say look up here, somebody gives me this set of numbers, nine, five, eight, three, four, two, five, which you can see correspond to these positions in the A array. But let's just look at the numbers now. So somebody gives me those numbers and tells me, sort them in order. What would I do? Well, one thing I could do is I could say, well, okay, I'm gonna look through I see that list of numbers. Uh since the first one has to be the smallest number. I'm going to look through the list, so I'm going to go, okay, 9, 5, 9, 6, 7, 10, 2, okay, 2. Okay, 2 is the smallest. So I'm going to say, okay, 2 is the smallest number in the array. All right? So I'm going to say, well, the new list is going to be something like that, right? Uh, I'm going to get rid of that 2, and I'm going to move it to the front of the list. And, uh, and now I have this. You know, I know that, that is the smallest number, so I do the same thing again. I say, okay, well, that was the smallest. Now, for the second position, that will once again, this needs to be the smallest number in the list that starts here. So from here on out, from here to the end, what's the smallest number? And then I start looking from this point. I say, okay, nine is the smallest so far. No, five is the smallest so far. Five is still the smallest. Three is the smallest so far. Uh, three is still the smallest, three is still the smallest, three, boom. Uh, so it's going to be two, three, and then the rest of this business is going to be there. Um, and I get rid of that three. Now, uh, I still need, uh, this nine here, right? So, I just made that up. Okay, so I put that three in there. And then I copy the rest. Okay, so, well, this is one way of doing it. Now, if you think about it, so one problem is, so this will work, right? I can keep going and all the way to the end, it will work. Um, but one problem is if you look at the columns, right, each time through the numbers keep changing. So if you look at A2, it goes eight and then five and nine. And that's a problem because you know we want the array to change as little as possible. Okay, well, there's a way uh, you can avoid that. Uh, there's a way that we can move from here to the next line with only by only changing two numbers. And that's where you know you stop, stop the video, think about it, see, see if you can figure it out. Okay, you didn't do that, but I'm gonna tell you. Um, you should have done it. So if you had thought about it, you would have realized, okay, well, I start at the first one, and uh, I go through, I find the smallest number, which is two, and then I want to take that two and put it here. The nine is already there. So what I can do is I can just move the nine over here. All right, so I can take the smallest number, two, put it in the first place, take whatever number was in the first place, Put it back over there. So put that nine here and that two here. Right. And uh, okay, so then I repeat it again. Starting at this point here, I go through the list, look for the smallest number, three, then take that number, put it in the first place, put whatever was there in the place of the three. So the next step would be. Um, Three and five there. Then the step after that would be what? I start here, look through the end of the list. Smallest number is five. I'm gonna replace that five. The eight with a five, that's the next step. I do it over again. Now I'm starting at the eight. Again, what's the smallest number? Well, oh, um, I messed up. 
and forth. <laughs> for um, and this has to be five. This has to be eight. Right. So four, five, eight. I start at the eight, smallest number. It's gonna be five, five, eight, and last step. I start at the nine. So I just replace, move these two. And that is how insertion sort works. You can try to replay that again. The, you need to be able to understand that. Um, so do some examples. The easiest way is just to do a few examples, just like I did with pencil and paper. So we're going to write a method to implement that. Public static void insertion sort. And it's going to take as input an integer array A, I'm going to call it. So what I want to do is I want to go iterate over that array, right? So the I is going to be each row. So each time, you know, the first time I start the first position, the second time I start the second position, all the way to the last position, really the last position minus one. Uh, but you'll see. But it'll work out to go to the end. Um, so that's I. I is the first position. And then, so the first time around, i is zero. So what I have to do is starting at, when i is zero, we're here. So now I have to go from i1 all the way to the end. So I need another for loop. And then as, instead of going from zero, that one will go from i, um, or i plus one, to the end. Okay. Now, what do I do? Well, I need to, as I go through this loop, I need to say, is the number, is this number, a of i, smaller than this number? Uh, and if it is, you know, then that's going to be my smallest number. So basically, I'm going to keep a track of the smallest value. Initially, that's going to be a sub i. And I'm going to say if uh, the smallest value is bigger than a of j, so a of j is the smallest value, then the smallest value is a of j. OK. And I'm also going to need, I know this, I'm going to need the smallest index which is just i, so the smallest index will be j. So by the time I'm done with that for loop, so I'm here within the i loop, right? Now the j loop is the one that goes from here to the end. By the time I'm done with that, I have found the smallest number uh, in, you know, starting from this point on to the end. So basically the smallest number in the array so far, that's the number. Um, that I want to put in the first place. So the smallest value is now the smallest in j all the way to the end. So that means I want to put it where? In a sub i. So I want a sub i to be the smallest value. And uh, but I also, uh, if you remember, uh, I have to this. I have to put what was in a sub i into the smallest index, right? That was, I took the smallest value, put it back here, but I want to take what was there, put it back over there. So I have to do a sub smallest index gets a sub i. Now you can see there's going to be a problem because I'm already putting the smallest value into a sub i first. Um, so this line needs to be uh, moved up over here. Okay. Uh, and um, so this is going to go all the way to the end. And I think that's it. I'm not sure. So we're going to have to do some testing, of course. And uh, there's no return value. So now we don't need a return for that. What we do need to do is some testing. 
So test it. We're gonna try to print it out. Uh, first of all, we're gonna call in insertion sort on our test array A and try to print that out. Uh, oh, that's not gonna work because that's it's a void. So uh, notice that, yes, this is a void, um, but because arrays are called by reference, or they're past call by reference. That means that if we change the value of a within the method, which we're doing right here, right, then this a will change, right? This a is a different one, uh, but it's actually they're both because it's a call by reference. They're both pointing to the same value. So if I change that one, I change array. If I change a, I change array. And so it is. So I'm going to try to print that out. You see, I, when I try to print it on an array, I get this ugliness. So you know, I need a little helper function, public uh, static string array to string to string. It takes an argument, an integer array a. And all this is going to do is it's going to go for um, v. No, Integer v in a, and I need a, oh, I need a result string. Salt, it starts out with the empty string, and I'm just gonna concatenate this. Salt plus equal a, and it stays there. And then I need to return the result. Okay, and then I can now do an array to string call. See that works. Um, nope, because I'm putting a there. I need to put v. See that works. Okay, so it worked, and uh, the array is sorted, right? So I printed out array. Let's do it first, just to. So you know I'm not cheating. So first the original array, then I call in search and sort on the array, and then we print out the final array and it's sorted. Okay. So this is the basic insertion sort. There's probably some a bug there, maybe. Uh, you need, you know, with sorting and with well with all your programs, but especially with these. With sorting and certain types of programs, you need to test them a lot in uh, ordered and unordered. And the one element array, uh, the zero element array, I think it will crash. And maybe if I give it a zero element array, uh, that's easy enough to test. But so you want to take te test all those boundary cases. No, it does work. Lucky me.